Tinder is probably the worst thing ever created. And he might not be alone in his thinking. Younger generations are dumping the dating apps, instead opting to meet people IRL in real life. For America's younger generations, dating apps have always been the norm. But recent data by Eventbrite shows that over the last year, more and more younger singles are logging off for love, shifting to meeting a mate in person. Two main reasons, a feeling that app algorithms aren't doing a good job matching them, and overall dating fatigue. It just feels like people are tired of the screens and they want something different. Aware of the challenges singles face dating online, Maxine Williams pounced on this trend, creating We Meet IRL, which has been rebranding speed dating over the last two years, helping singles 25 to 35 to stop messaging and start talking face to face. I personally just don't think we were ever meant to connect romantically through a screen. When it comes to attraction, there are it's kind of like all the five senses have to be there. Like you want to smell someone's perfume or cologne. You want to hear how they laugh. You want to see how they walk and talk. And those things you don't really get from a dating app. The data also shows 45% of Gen Z and 35% of millennials say it's difficult to use an app to find a match who shares their interests. And almost half believe meeting in real life is safer. Much safer in that environment than going on a random coffee date with a random person in a random location. Cassidy Davis is the founder of the Chaotic Singles Party, monthly mixers that took off in 2022 after she and her friends invited dozens of people they saw on dating apps but had never met in person. I actually got invited here by Jenna. We matched on Bumble like not even two hours ago. I think the unorthodox approach helps bring people together because it automatically breaks the ice. Davis met her boyfriend Kenyon in real life just days before the first chaotic party. He was there despite not being a total stranger. Still, the couple of two years agrees the formula works. So I know about 40 couples by name who are still dating that I've met at my parties. Uh, one of them just went on their first vacation together. Another one just introduced each other to their parents. We're still waiting for that first chaotic wedding, though. Yeah. <laughs> In New York, Anna Eliopoulos, Fox News.